Aries, this is a rare opportunity for you this time. And the challenges that you experience at this time are a rare opportunity for you. Rare because it is rare that you get a state of calm enough, calm as in an energy lag long enough for you to ponder deeper aspects of yourself, <clears throat> pause and take some time to consider all the all the um, components of a circumstance or a situation and actually in some ways readjust and realign. The amount of energy that is coursing through energy at Aries at all times is, I, I don't think other people really, you can't really understand it unless you, unless you experience it. And when you're experiencing it, you don't know that that's what's going on. You don't know that it's, you don't know that the world isn't actually moving that fast, that it's actually you gunning to basically outrace the world. Um, and it's, it gives you a very unique perspective of things because most things, unless they're like what, what's right in front of you and what you want to conquer, most things kind of blur on the sides. Now that doesn't mean that you're stupid at all, at all, or deep or philosophical, but it just means that you as a person get very little time to actually like breathe and contemplate and not decide right away, but to actually ponder. Because it's like, even for yourself, you're moving a mile a minute and there's this need to push yourself to the next limit <clears throat> as if that's what makes you the best self is always moving forward, forward, always forward, forward, always forward. That is the Aries way. And ultimately, sometimes ultimately, sometimes forward isn't just moving to the next, moving to the next or pushing the timeline. Sometimes forward is understanding what's happening all around, the comprehension of the underbelly, because that forward is forward as in um, sort of like a picture, a globe, 360 degrees moving out at the same time instead of just one direction. So ultimately what you're in right now is a very unique position. It is an uncomfortable position because of Aries still in retrograde and how it is compromised by different aspects in the sky right now. But ultimately what you get out of this is the ability to look and understand. There is going to be a trigger this week. And that trigger is going to come in a very personal way. Something that has to do with your family, something you didn't realize, almost maybe a disillusionment or a feeling of betrayal that comes from, now a feeling of betrayal doesn't necessarily mean a betrayal. In other words, something could have happened within your family, whatever you consider family, something that ultimately Aries, you feel like, I don't even know you. How could you even do that? How could you even say that? Why do you even think that way? Like, where did that even come from inside of you? Right? Right? This, this, this um, unexpected message or revelation of deceit. Uh, that, or that at least, at least if it wasn't blatant deceit, like they really tried to keep something from you, <clears throat> it was feeling like they've deceived you or that they are not somebody that you actually know. This disillusionment will throw you off and kind of shake your world and ultimately you will want to bam bust through everything the way that you normally do. Attack, go after, confront, solve. But you will not have that energy level to do it. And that is beyond a blessing because what this makes you realize is or because it could very well be because like let's look at some of these other cards it could very well be you in your life somehow realizing 
that you don't feel the way that you used to and that takes you and pulls you apart of your family unit or what you used to feel about them or the loyalty you used to feel or it's just being it's being questioned it's all being thrown into contemplation a contemplative mode you know this this whole feeling of all of a sudden i don't i don't fit in here or i don't agree or there's wisdom that is in another direction or just just this kind of like separation from what was sort of always stable and rooted for you but what this is is discovering that that's okay <clears throat> that actually you don't have to be disappointed in yourself or in somebody outside of yourself because they've sort of offered you this contrary perspective of who they are or what they believe there's no need <clears throat> i'm sorry forgive me there's no need for you to feel in other words you will feel extremely conflicted because all of a sudden this throws you into disbelief and um questioning why like questioning your beliefs that's what it says questioning your beliefs who am i if this isn't real and and this is who you really are or this is what you really believe and 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 all of a sudden it's like well then what just this period of what is creating a space inside of you to realize that you don't have to be one way or the other you don't have to be one side or the other there's another choice the choice is to recognize and accept all those aspects of yourself. And to enable and allow yourself to grow comfortable with both of those things happening at the same time. Both of those aspects of yourself um, or both of your aspects, those, 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 as, those, those aspects of yourself in comparison to what you were just confronted with. You will not want to compromise at first. There's, there's this feeling of don't compromise your beliefs, you know, that you're not wrong for being who you are and believing who you and believing what you do just because now you're confronted with this aspect outside of you that. Life would be much easier if you agreed with it. Life would be much easier maybe if you never found out or knew about it. But ultimately, there's this sense of how do I stay me and incorporate, or if not incorporate, find a way to feel comfortable with what I just learned about you. Now, this affects you in a very intimate way a romantic cycle begins whatever romantic cycle just began for you or that's been going on right now don't expect it to go very far or expect this con conflict somehow to impact or affect how you're feeling about your romantic partner or the way that they are what they believe that there is a sense of right now this romantic this romantic encounter that you've been engaging in not going far or needing a break and needing space from and it's i gotta say it's all based on confusion and your need to to have time and space to just not be confused now a lot of times that confusion is actually coming from it's a it's a symptom of inner conflict of trying to rationalize something that's so important to you when you thought something else was so important to you and ultimately inner con it's like it's like why do you feel conflicted it's not just it's not it's i don't think it's as simple as agree to disagree you know i, I think that that's undersimplifying it i'm sorry oversimplifying it And in some ways, uh, undervaluing the moment that you're in right now um, and what you're confronted with. <sighs> Do 
It's almost like realizing that at an impasse, it's okay to let them be right. It's okay to let them be different or not what you expected. It's okay to let the other person be wrong to you without them having to be completely wrong for you. On the other side of this conflict, there is a new beginning or of a light at the end of the tunnel, a reason to be hopeful. See, it's all, it's not, it's not like you're reclaim, like it, it's like, it's like reclaim your energy. It's not like you're reclaiming your energy from somebody else. And I think that's the big difference here. And that's the Achilles heel strike that the test from, from Pluto, especially right now, that sense Aries that it's not about going to war. It's not about a win. It's not about a fight that has to be won. It's about an understanding that has to be reached. We're asking the warrior to suddenly become the diplomat. And it's a completely different way of fighting or battling for you. And that's where the triumph is. That there's this whole other dynamic of yourself that you would never have even tapped into had it not been for this lull in energy and really ultimate challenge for you, which is to have to put down your sword and pull out those other dynamics of yourself, like your intuition, like your intellect and rationale, like your pragmatism, to have to dig deeper. Because ultimately for Aries, there's usually no, there's so much energy, there's usually no reason for you to have to dig deeper. But now there is. And the, and really what you're doing by surrendering your atomic energy is you're reclaiming all these other aspects of yourself to wholeness, to all of you, to actually use those parts of you that were so underused, maybe for years. Because you have all these other dynamics to you and now you're in a situation where, wow, you're faced with the need, the necessity, right? We've all heard this. Necessity is the mother of invention. It's necessity now to use those other dynamics of yourself to pull out answers, solutions, or just understanding. This is healing. The overflow of abundance that is lying inside of you that you maybe didn't even realize that you had. But really, ultimately, this is just being able to heal and be at peace and feel your emotions instead of burn through them and honor your emotions instead of just plowing through and carving that space. There's a sense of like allowing yourself to kind of melt right now into all those dynamics and all those emotions Nothing has gone wrong. This is balance. Yin and yang. This is the coming back into a rightness with yourself. A wholeness. Whole, yin and yang is wholeness. And you certainly do. Aries energy, whether you're male or female, embodies, because you're ruled by Mars, so it embodies the divine feminine energy. And I'm sorry, the divine masculine energy. And now you're getting in touch with, not necessarily outwardly, but we could talk about that, but you're getting in touch with the divine feminine aspect of you because nobody is just one or the other. And those divine feminine aspects are receiving instead of constant output. Now it's receiving and accepting, allow, surrendering and allowing those energies to come into you all prefaced by this crazy moment when you are confronted outwardly with this conflict of what appears to be deception, what appears to be, um, 
you know, like a, a message received of just blatant shock. Really, what you feel first is shock of, of I don't know, an uncovering of somebody's belief that basically deconstructs everything you believed about them or uh, makes you realize that somebody didn't have your back when you thought that they did or makes you feel betrayed in some way. Get over yourself. Get over your old aspects or the old aspects of yourself that you decided or you believed were the only parts of you. This is you learning how to step over your biggest impediment, which was your own self, your own energy, your own sense of self. There's a reason why you rule the house of self, the, how, the first house. Because you're just sort of so self-possessed with, with the, the certainness. It's beyond confidence. It's certainty of direction. But ultimately, this is becoming uncertain. Allowing an uncertainty. Allowing an uncertainty because of all the strength that that uncertainty is opening you up to and, and, and giving you a, a chance to have. very spiritual moment for you right now let's get into the main reading even though not that this is an aries aries not that this isn't a main reading aries all right cards are on the table let's see what they've got to say Magic works through you, and this is Cancerian energy, which is really interesting energy. It is an energy that, because it's another cardinal sign, it naturally squares your energy and says, well, how can we use energy to help other people? How can we use energy to make other people bigger and stronger and, and not basically let the energy flow through us to impact something outside of us instead of just like letting it continue to impact our own timeline? So this is definitely, but this is also transcending, transcendence, you know, bridging between one aspect of yourself and another or one part of your life and the next. Um, this is a rebirth is assured. So you are becoming somebody new. This is sort of deep, I would say, DNA level switches and changes inside of your personality character or your life in general. Lots of changes happening in your life that you almost and 100 percent, I almost certain you welcome. Because um, because it's right. Because you can feel that this change is correct for you. And liberating from something that had gotten stale. We've talked about this a lot in your past, I think, three readings now with all this energy going around. There has just been this sense of like you ultimately realizing that you have been fighting some battles just because you were used to fighting and it it wasn't it didn't even matter anymore what the bat what you were fighting for you'd lost connection with the purpose beyond the battle it's like that warrior in a permanent state of fight but what are you fighting for you fight just to win the next win the next win the next what and that's this, that what was wearing on you and exhausting you, your, you spiritually. And ultimately now you being free from that and getting back to a point in your life where you are finding that purpose. This is really coming out on the other side. And this is also a sense of hope and understanding that all the changes that are happening to you right now, whatever surprise, it's like all of a sudden you thought something wouldn't end and it ended. You thought something was going one direction and it redirected itself, and especially when it comes to romantic relationships right now. Essentially, understanding there's life beyond and on the other side of that perceived failure. Because in a lot of ways, you guys, Aries, you will perceive endings as failures. You want to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going because if you end, you fail. But ending isn't a failure, it's a completion. And it's also every ending is a new beginning to something else. So really what you've been deprived of is newness. Is something new happening in your life? Because And you've been self-defeating, right? 
revving up, revving up, going so fast, going so fast, just bam, bast, like bombasting through things. But it kept in the same old loop. Ultimately, this perceived failure, this perceived ending is actually an opening to something brand new coming into your life. And that's what's so revelational, revel, you know, and, and um, almost like I could just feel this, this sigh of relief coming from you. Think on your feet. This is Sagittarius energy, which is complementary energy. It's also Jupiterian energy, is that this is actually good luck that's happening to you. It's, it's good fortune. There's a lot of abundance down this new path that maybe you never thought of before, but right now that you've got it in your sights, you just can't, you, you, you can't stop thinking about it. You know, it's, it's, it's your new passion, brand new, trust in the magic. Some of this is a brand new beginning, a brand new start could be a brand new relationship with somebody. Um, all of a sudden something happening that you never predicted or asked for, but it's, this breath of fresh air that's so sweet you want to keep suckling more of it um this could be a new beginning in some ways with a Sagittarius I don't but I think that's too specific for a general reading to be honest with you and this is just a new direction in your life that's opening up a lot of new like it's like it's like I haven't felt this way in so long I haven't felt new in so long life is speeding up so ultimately what this means is this is Gemini energy. So there's communications that are definitely coming in. And even though it may feel like they're unraveling you and they may feel like they're this, this is Fox energy is all over the place. So this is stuff that you never expected. That's actually coming together for you and helping your life come together in a brand new direction. Okay, this is more Cancerian energy, letting go of all that does not serve you, all that in no way, shape or form you can carry with you. But this is the beautiful moment of this moment is being able to recognize what is a waste of time for you? Like, what is the waste of your space? What are you carrying that you need to let go of? Being able to clearly see and let go of all the thoughts, beliefs, maybe even people or jobs that do not serve you anymore, that, that just... That had stagnated and you kept carrying it. And this is your energy. Be fearless and bold. So really finding yourself, your truth and your true self coming back again without having to suppress or repress those other dynamics of yourself that maybe, you know, don't move as fast or don't get you as far or aren't as certain or aren't as financially blah, blah, blah. Who cares? This is about you Finding your whole self, your complete self again, including those yin aspects of yourself, which are harder for you to tap into because there's so much yang energy in Aries energy. This is Leo energy um, and sun card energy, which is just victory and success. So this new road that you're being pushed down, there's such great messages here of, wow, Aries, you have no idea how actually beautiful your, your life is going to be. I know you feel like you're in a slump right now, but this slump is leading you to something that is beyond your imagination. And it could very well be a start with this beautiful new person that's coming into your life. Understand here that this Libra full moon, we just passed this, oh my God, I just got this. Wow. Hello, wake up reader. Um, we just went by this Libra new moon, this new moon in Libra. We just happened, right, Aries? Right? A relationship probably ended around that time. You probably sort of woke up and realized that, like, that, it, in other words, it was designed. I'm telling you right now, if you looked at all the aspects happening around the new moon in Libra, it was designed to break relationships that just were not meant to happen and were not meant to be anymore or had played out their time. It was meant to break them. It was meant to just like force words out of your mouth, make you realize things deep down inside that you were discontented with and with Mercury in the position that it was, things were just going to fly out. Like ultimately it was, that relationship was meant to be done. It was meant to be over and you, because you like to fight these battles just to fight them without even realizing, is it even worth the fight? But that was, it was different this time. It was more like, I don't, 
I don't even want to fight. This isn't as important that this isn't that important to me. Whatever relationship I might have wanted to fight for in the past that I was trying to make up for with this relationship or whatever the convoluted craziness was, there's a sense of both those battles are behind me. And it was finished. This is what's coming into your life. Forget about the moon. There's sunlight coming back into your life. There's a, a loyalty, uh, an energy here that is incomprehensible loyalty and steadfastness and also comfort and love coming into your life. This is this is a little far. This is a little bit out. This is it, but it's coming. Um, could be children. If you have children, take a leap of faith in them. Let them be your guide. Let them lead you some in some direction or another. Um, in some ways, their, their energies is actually what's going to help you through this. Or ultimately, there's a sense of new prosperity and abundance. Like you starting to multiply your abundance because you took a leap of faith in a completely different direction. You never expected to, to take this. You never, like this new direction that felt stuck was actually a leap into this way out. Freedom and getting over the biggest conflicts and the biggest challenges you've had with yourself. Like fighting those aspects of yourself that have really like, you, you really even haven't even given yourself time to listen to at this point. Because you were so involved in those outer conflicts, not realizing that those outer conflicts and the key to solving those outer conflicts were actually unraveling and understanding and then ultimately um, healing those inner conflicts. Because there has been a lot that you haven't given yourself that time for. I really want to know the fucking details about just the details, the nitty gritty details. They're all in the tarot card reading. That link is below. Um, you can either go over there right now or please go over maybe after these angel messages, Aries, because ultimately I love these angel messages and I hope that you'll stay, stay here for them. They're, they usually do have a beautiful message that I think is is worth sticking around for that's too much hmm. yeah um compassion and that's really what we're talking about here but it's not just compassion for others it's compassion for you right you, when you show greater compassion toward yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. And so that's ultimately what you're doing right now. You're, you're showing compassion to yourself, you know, and somehow recognizing or coming to a reckoning of, but I am disappointed in myself and I didn't accomplish the things that I wanted to accomplish. But ultimately... What does that tell me about what's really important to me? Because the reason why I didn't accomplish the things that are really important to me was because I was fighting somebody else's battle. And now I have to get back to the heart of me and what really matters to me so that I can get out there and use my energy to what really makes me proud. Change. Um, life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last because life is always changing. It is forever fresh and new. Allow your life to unfold gracefully. Be grateful for what was, is, and forever will be. Do it now. I'm going to, I'm sorry. Something just got in my eye. Forgive me, Aries. Do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. You already know what to do. Now do it. Prayer. No matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Ask, including for help. We are listening. 
middle path. And we talked about this in the beginning of the reading. And that's how I know that the angels are listening every time I do these readings. Embrace both sides. And in your case, mostly it's most both aspects of yourself. The middle path is the road to a balanced, more peaceful life. And if you are dealing with that family conflict, it is to show you or inspire you outwardly to inwardly see how important it is to know that there is another path except the two extremes. And that path is the wholeness. Positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Anxiety. We surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Love is coming into your life, Aries, in a way that you had not allowed it because you were so involved in a relationship that you were fighting for every day that wasn't working. Healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time, and I will love you for all eternity. Wow. And then we have love. I told you love is, is coming into your life. The heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. So this is real love coming in. And I don't think that it would have come in unless you allowed yourself to believe in or be open to or have been put in this compromised position where you had to stop and pause and let it catch up to you. Last but not least, who is here but the ultimate warrior himself, Archangel Michael. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way, right? Cleaning out the trash, letting it go. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. This is still partial mystery right now. What is that? Which direction am I going? This is you learning how to have faith and follow the unclear path. Let's get more direction from Tarot. What is it going to say? I don't know. But I will see you guys over there.